A company known as Laser Power Systems believes that they can create a car that runs on something known as thorium, and as a result, it could actually be powered for about 100 years on just 8 grams of the fuel. Now, for those of you who don't know what thorium is, and I'm sure there are many of you because I had no idea what thorium is, it's, a, it's actually a radioactive metal. And there have been uh, cases in the past where uh, nuclear power plants were supposed to be powered by thorium instead of uranium. However, the Nixon administration nixed it. Now, it's really, really fascinating. Motherboard did this great documentary that you guys should check out on YouTube. We took a little part of it where they explain what thorium is. Take a quick look at that, and then we'll discuss this car. A decade before he called nuclear power society's biggest Faustian bargain, Alvin Weinberg was one of the country's leading nuclear physicists. He invented the light water reactor, the world's most common kind today, the type used at Fukushima. But in the 1960s, as director of Oak Ridge National Laboratory, he began to pursue another idea, called the Molten Salt Reactor. Instead of operating at high pressure with a solid fuel made of uranium, it worked at low pressure using a liquid fuel that could be made of thorium. Thorium has many advantages. It can produce about 90 times as much energy as uranium and a fraction of the waste and that waste isn't useful for making bombs. The reactor was considered walk-away safe because it relied on physics, not machines or humans, to keep the reaction under control. So as I watch that, Anna, I, I, I get so sad about all the progress that was stopped in its tracks because once we started using uranium and once we started doing nuclear power plants, well, then a whole industry developed around that way of, of getting energy. Around uranium, right. exactly. Right. So then people are like, well, then I got no use for thorium. Like, I don't make money that way. I make money this way. That's exactly so right. We're going to go in that direction for decades on end, right or wrong. So what's fascinating about what's happening today is obviously we need alternative forms of energy, right? And thorium is a possibility for that. So some of you might wonder, why is it that we're not going forward with it? Well, I, I would like to see more information about it and, and you know, I would like to see more research into it. And the way of doing more research, the way of getting more funding for it is to change the mindset about nuclear energy because thorium is another form of nuclear energy. And of course, there is a lot of negative press about that. So that's what's going on with uh, you know, power plants, but let's talk about the car a little bit. So this thorium-fueled automobile would, as I mentioned earlier, run for a hundred years on just eight grams of fuel. At least that's Jesus. according to their concept car. Who? I mean, I can't even believe a car can run for a hundred years, period, even mm -hmm. if you have to refuel, right? right. Like that's, that's like inconceivable to me. So um, it's, the funny thing is I'm so cheap that I saw that part of the story and I thought, you know what, I don't need it for a hundred years. I, I'll just buy two grams. <laughs> but what difference does it make? It's just, well, it depends on how expensive it is, of course. But, so but apparently, it would be much more cost efficient. Yeah, so let me tell you how it would work. Um, according uh, to uh, the company, because thorium is so dense, it has the potential to produce tremendous amounts of heat. The company has been experimenting with small bits of uh, thorium, creating a laser that heats water, produces steam, and powers a mini turbine. Um, just one gram of the substance yields more energy than uh, 7,396 gallons of gasoline, and eight grams would power the typical car for a century. It's got frickin' lasers on its head. Uh, now, I know that the design of the car doesn't necessarily have anything to do with thorium, but how badass did that car look? Yeah, so that car is not the car that's being designed by Laser Power Systems. That's actually a different car. It's the Cadillac World Thorium Fuel Concept Car. So, Good enough. Yeah, and okay. it was it was designed um, by a different company. Uh, face alone, I'm going for thorium. And if you're going to put thorium in a car, it should look like that. And how cool is thorium on name alone? Okay, it is. I, I looked into this. It is in fact named after Thor because mm -hmm. it was uh, a scientist, I believe, from Norway that had given some information to a scientist from Sweden, who then, you know, yes. uh, nailed it down, and and so he named it after Thor, the Norse god. How awesome would it be if it turns out Thor saved the planet? There are so many exciting technological advances underway. Mm -hmm. You know, the Hyperloop. Yes. You know, all, all of these great things that will get us to where we need to go more efficiently. 
And I'm looking forward to that. I hope I survive long enough to experience a little bit of it, at yeah, least. I, I, how hilarious would it be if it turns out the people who believed in Thor saved the planet uh, and not Jesus? Would they go around like, like, oh, what now, Jesus? What now? It turns out Thor was coming back. I've been seeing online, uh, this is everywhere, uh, they say, you know, Jesus promised to rid the world of evil. Odin promised to rid the world of ice giants. Do you see any ice giants? Hmm? Think about it. Good point. And here comes Thorium to the rescue.